Today on Reading My Comments, man sounds more and more depressed every time he uploads. Thank you. Six people like the comment. Thank you. Thank all of you. I'm going to change just for you. What's good, everyone? What's good, everyone? It's Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com. Today we're going to be doing a special video because we, we're bringing out the keyboards today to make like a synth beat like Mr. Rage by Trippy Red. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you my sound selection and sound design with these keyboards. And then I'm gonna teach you guys the chord progressions, the melodic elements, all that, the bass line. But before before we start, chamberscourses.com, go tap in with my exclusive online class. I'm doing personal courses on music theory and music production, chord progressions, melodies, scales, mixing, drums, 808 structuring, so much more to come, whether it's trap or R&B or Jill. I'm gonna be doing placement breakdowns. I'm gonna be dropping exclusive secret kits on my class. So sign up now, it's brand new content content every single month I already got a bunch of people signed up who are loving it that's content that you're never gonna see on this youtube going super in-depth teaching producers how to take their craft to the next level we got the uh juno 106 synthesizer it's from like 1984 whatever this guy right here we're gonna be doing everything with it so i was just messing around on the keyboard and i came up with this chord progression <laughs> and i recorded it into pro tools Here's the chord, it's very simple. It's just A, D, E, G. And all I'm doing is moving my thumb from the A to the B to the C. And I'm not changing anything else in my hands. Then in the bass hand, my left hand, I'm playing an F to an A to a C. Then when you put that all together, you get this. You don't have to use Pro Tools. I just like to use Pro Tools because it's easiest when you're using like synthesizers or guitars, vocals, any external audio that you're recording in Pro Tools makes it very easy for you to edit it. But that's a whole other thing. So what I did next was go to a pad on the Juno 106 and I played the same chord progression, just the right hand. Then after that, I took another pad, sounds kind of different, like a filter effect to it. Played the same chord progression again, just layered it. And then I took a little bell sound on the Juno, played this melody, just repeating the same thing. The lead is probably like the most important when you're trying to make a beat like Mr. Rage. So this is what I did for the lead. Had an A note, down to a G, down to an E, then an A, up to a B, up to an E. Then I took like this string sound that was on the Juno and I played this note, just held it out, just the A, and then went down to the E simple and then it was time to make the bass also very important so i just played the f and i went down to the a then up to the c with that a note in between just repeated it then at the end i played that c up an octave just to make it more interesting and an important tool that i used on the juno is the pitch bender when you listen to like mr rage or something like that like the lead just doesn't go the the it goes down, it like slides, right? They bend the pitch. So I applied that technique to the chords and bass and the lead, I think. And pretty much here's what it sounds like. That's the pitch bender. And when we put it all together, come up with this. If you want to learn more about how I know the music theory to make those chords and melodies and the music that we just made, I really do suggest my online course, chamberscourses.com. For all producers who are looking to learn the basics of music theory and also some more advanced techniques, it's a great way to start learning. So yeah, I said, boom, do it into FL. We got it right here. Color coded and everything because we got to look fly. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into tools and help, help, help. If you need help finding my online class, the link is in the description and in the comments section. Now we're gonna go to tools, right? Like Bob the Builder. Let's go to macros. Let's go to switch all audio clips to real time stretching. Now I could change the tempo and everyone's gonna stay in grid. So it's kind of slow. It's like 135. Let's go to like 155 at like 20 BPM. Let's hear it now. Much faster. It's so loud. All right, so for the most top secret trick now, we really gotta keep this low key. Because a lot of people don't know about this, right? But but the secret the secret technique that you have to do. We about to yeah! reverse it. All right, so you're going to go to chorus. You're going to hit reverse. You're going to go to bass. 
you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna go to pad you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna go to filter pad you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna hit bell you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna go to lead you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna go to string you're gonna hit reverse you're gonna go to bass you're gonna hit normalize psych we're gonna hit reverse right here right here there's like two bars of excess so you want to extend that so there's nothing right line that up who would okay please don't interrupt me again chop out these front two bars because there's nothing there so we line it up bring it back now let's hear it now you hear it sounds like mr rage all right so now it's time to add the drums right i'm gonna be using my favorite drum kit for trap music any type of music like this is my go-to every time undeniable drum kit because you cannot deny the drum sounds chambers slash sound kits link in the description and in the comments section for this kit it's my favorite kit for trap music all the sounds are mixed it was all ran through analog outboard gear so it's crispy it hiss it's loud let's get it we'll grab 808 number two i'm we'll gonna grab clap number one let's get a hi-hat with the drums for beat like this it's kind of simple not too much percussion so i'll just grab an open hi-hat and i'll grab a snare so for the 808 what i'm gonna do is go in here hit this little, little knob right here right i'm gonna add to the boost boom like five percent you see where it says up there chamberscourses.com go get that because if you're not signed up what are you doing bro man you're gonna go to envelope tab i'm gonna drop the attack and put the hold up drop the decay drop the sustain drop the release and then you can hold the 808 for as long as you want so now if we remember the root notes that we used f a and C, but then we reversed it. So we got to play the 808 in reverse too. So it's going to be like C, A, F. I'm going to just have the chorus and the chorus bass on. Let's add a pattern. Probably going to start it at C. Then we're going to go up to the A. Down to the F. That's up an octave so we can hear it better. Drop it down. Like for a beat like this, you kind of want it to distort just a little bit, not so much. So it's like, that's, sorry for whoever's ears just died. But like a little, a little bit, a little bit of distortion. Then I'm gonna make this pattern unique. The second one, change it up. I'm gonna go down with the A. Some people would be like, that's too low. I crossed the line at A. I'm gonna just do it. Because remember I was talking about the pitch bender, right? I'm gonna bend the 808 too. I'm gonna double click right here. Hit this little triangle thing. Boom, hit accept. Let's shorten that note. Just like you would with the 808 drill slide. You can't really hear it, but hear how it like dips down to the F. That's what we want. Then down to the C and we'll put it too. Just so it has like a slide technique and we'll bring it into the second pattern too. See so yeah, how that one like rises so far. Let's add that clap. We're going to put it on the three and the seven counts as usual. And I'm going to add the hi-hat. Let's do fill each two steps for now, but I'm going to take them out. I'm going to take out the second one. Take that one out right there after the clap. Let's make this one unique. I'm going to fill up this one. Fill up this one. Let's see. I'm going to take out the last one. And I'm going to go in here and add a roll somewhere with half step on the grid. A roll into the clap right there. Drop the velocity a little bit. Let's add some low notes too. I'm going to go into third step. Just at the end. I might have them go down a few notes too. Like a staircase. I'm going to actually fill this gap up right here with a lower note we'll leave it like that boom let's add the open eye hat just put it on the one count on the beat drop see i made the second pattern unique pattern seven right here and i added another open eye hat at the end right here then lastly i'm gonna add this one snare make this one unique add another note right there I'm also at this reverb perk from the Undeniable Drum Kit, and I'm gonna just put it at the end of every four bars like this. So now with everything, it sounds like this. And there you go. 
else. And I was just telling to structure it. So I think in the beginning, you just want to hit everyone with everything, right? Just put everything with the bass, just blast it. Then I'm gonna just have the chord sounds and the pad sounds here. And then halfway through our hook, I'm gonna have a 16 bar hook, eight bars with just the chords, then another eight bars. We're gonna add the bell, the lead, and the string in. I just have this first section right here. Empty the drums right there. And we just repeat it. And there's the beat. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. And again, if you want to learn much more in depth about music theory and production in general, full length production, mixing, structuring, drums, chords, melody scales, all that, my exclusive online class is out now at chamberscourses.com. And of course, all the people who sign up for the online class always have permission to send me any beats that they'd like for my feedback or critique. So sign up. I'd love to connect with you guys through the online class. And if you like the drums from this video, that's the Undeniable Drum Kit, my go to for trap drums every time. All the links will be in the description and in the comments section. I appreciate all of you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 60k. And let me know what type of videos you guys would want to see in the future. Well, it's Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.